you like to pick a sausage? Anyone, madam. Any sausage at all. Pick a damn sausage! <laughs> okay. Place it anywhere in the pack. <laughs> Don't tell me, right? Okay, remember it, remember it. <laughs> Madam, could you shuffle these? <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, that's a super weird. That, that was not the one you felt. Have you ever felt a wet sausage? <laughs> when I was... <laughs> I mean, I shouldn't be saying this. Is it the when one? I was teach when I was a teacher, yeah. I went home and my my mother did my washing for me. I was in my thirties, by the way. <laughs> my mother did my washing for me, and then one morning when I was teaching, I I got dressed in a hurry, and halfway through the day, I thought, ah, oh, something doesn't feel right. Something's, something's not right. So I went to the toilet, and I, I was wearing my mum's pump. Oh, well, good. <laughs> you yeah, got yeah, a two-word joke, which was dwarf shortage. <laughs> Just so I could pack more jokes into the show. If, if you're are. a dwarf well, and you're offended by that, grow up. No. Yeah, I'll that go was on. really bad. <laughs> yeah, I like old things. I like castles. I like kings. I like battles. And oh, this is me <laughs> doing more history than comedy. <laughs> so I've always loved history. History for me is the most interesting explanation of the world. I want to know what happened before this, and then what happened before that. And what happened before that? Uh, what's next? What's coming next? <laughs> yeah. I didn't laugh at all early on in my career is because my laugh is so ridiculous. Right. Oh, we right. like it. I laugh, I laugh on an in, not an out. So instead of going ha ha like a normal human, I yeah. laugh on an in. So it's ha 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 ha. <laughs> <laughs> it's a weird honking goose noise. <laughs> <laughs> just, and if I try and sort of suppress it and go, hmm, hmm, <laughs> it sounds like someone smuggled an owl into the room. <laughs> <laughs> Munya, your eyebrows look like two meat cleavers were covered in glue and dropped on a barber shop floor. <laughs> and I was like, you know what, this is the last time I wish this guy Happy Father's Day, for real. <laughs> Stormzy was there, and I saw him and I thought, oh, he's never going to pay attention to me. He walks over and gives you this huge bear hug. My face is stuffed into Stormzy's armpit, and I was like, I've made it. <laughs> <laughs> it's an amazing thing. Well, I turned up, but the last time I got a big round in was I was late for a gig. That's right. I was in Blackburn and the train got delayed, it just stopped. Mm. So I was two and a half hours late for a show mm. Mm. and 1,300 people waited because there is nothing else to do in Blackburn, presumably. <laughs> <laughs> and, and so I bought them all a drink, which was... Cheeky <laughs> <laughs> smile. Because when you go on tour, is it right that you actually take your train set with no, you? No, hold on, hold room? on. I don't take my train set. Right, OK. It's a, Scale model railroad. Oh, I sorry. Mean, it's very, very posh. But when I go on tour, if I'm in a hotel room, they'll give me a spare hotel room. And mm -hmm. what happens is I have toolkits, paints, you know, everything I need to build a project if I want to stop laughing. No, that's how most people travel, Rod. I think yes. that's how <laughs> most people in this day and age will bring a spare room <laughs> for the model train set. You're such a rock star. <laughs> what else could I have been? Look at this face. Well, listen, but it's, uh, that as a little let's change the subject. Let's play. I read yeah. an interview recently. How big no, is your train set? No, don't at home? talk about my train set. <laughs> How big is it, though? I heard yeah. it was the size of a tennis ball. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Wow. How do I get it up? Just a little bit more. How do you yeah. get it up? Well, shut up, shut up. 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 Shut up.